Reiner, return to home park for you this weekend, Plymouth Argyle away. How's everyone feeling going into Saturday after a disappointment of last weekend? Yeah, they're all right, mate. Listen, as I say, we can't dwell on it because the games come thick and fast and, you know, we're still on target for our points from what we wanted. Uh, it was tough the weekend gone, obviously losing at home, uh, two sloppy goals, which can be avoidable. Uh, but we have to look positively to the next one and the next one's Plymouth Argyle. And as you said, yeah, looking forward to going down there. Looking forward to seeing some old faces. Uh, fantastic football club, well followed, well backed, fantastic fan base, and yeah, and, uh, and we're, we're looking forward to it. Me and the players. A lot said about the last game before the international break, but how important is it to go into yeah. it, into the next set of fixtures, knowing that you're on the back of three points and in a good place? Massive. Um, it, it is massive for us the way we are now at this stage, because when we come back, we'll have nine games to go, and then there's obviously a lot of points to play for. Um, but when you've lost the game of football, some you want to get back collecting some points and that's going to be the aim definitely. have made the mammoth trip down to Devon still very much in the hunt for a playoff place they are five points outside of the top six with a game in hand on most above them and this match also sees boss Ryan Lowe return to Plymouth for the first time since leaving the programs since Paul Pienny in 2021 
gets his head to it. Lindsay whips in a ball, King flicks it towards the far post, it's going to be kept by Miller, drives it low, and it's in! And PNE make the breakthrough. Liam Miller, he got his first North End goal in the reverse fixture at Deepdale. And he sparked the celebrations for those 1,000 fans that have made the mammoth trip down here to Devon. Brilliant finish, drilled into the bottom corner. Plymouth nil, Preston North End one. Well, if he should have scored his first chance, he's definitely made up for it, because that was a brilliant finish, wasn't it? Came over to the far post and he struck the ball down into the floor, wet surface, and it's gone right in the bottom corner. But I think North End deserve that, I really do. I think on a, on a difficult a difficult day, they've been on the front foot, they've been powerful in the challenges, and a bit, they've added pressure, so fair play, and what a great finish, brilliant finish. Forwards. And the referee blows the full-time whistle. A third straight away win for Preston North End. They're keeping their playoff push alive. Liam Miller with the decisive goal. Huge, huge win. Massive celebrations from that 1,000 travelling army that's made the huge trip down here to Devon. Rob Edwards, former North End defender. How crucial could that result be? Yeah, you, you do sort of get a feel that, uh, you know, they sort of had to win today, like we said, but I've got to say they thoroughly deserved the win, didn't they? It could have been three or four. Freddie Woodman hasn't really made a save. Um, I thought it was a terrific performance. And, uh, you know, 
we all talk about the fancy football and the, you know the creative side of the game but I've got to say the hard yards were done by the North End players today the amount of blocks headers challenges they won today they gave Plymouth no chance today and they also showed a real bit of class in some of their uh, their front play as well so I really enjoyed the game today and thoroughly deserved win for North End Standard of the players that come in, I can't, can't bet you enough. I know it's hard, right? And next year it's going to be even harder. These are called upon. Excellent. I don't just look at 11 players, I look at the <coughs> old Oridies because if it didn't want you, you wouldn't be here. And the lads who know that from day one understand it, okay? But their performances that get you where you want to get to, not too kind of way, but enjoy the break because you deserve it. Every single one of you. I know we come back, we'll set our threes and threes and threes. You'll have nine games to go. Let's bring it on. Let's keep the underdog tag right and we'll keep going what we need to do. Don't worry about our business. So big well done, big round. Right. 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 It's all about chances, it's all about opportunities you've, you've got on today and you've taken it. You're just looking for more now, you want more minutes, more opportunities and to impress the gaffer. Yeah definitely I think you know he, he's bad as time with me and he's given me chances here and there but I think Today it was it was good enough for him to to put me in when obviously so soon in the game and I thought I just had to impress and show what I can do and I thought I'd done that today. You've come on because of injuries. I mean, how hard is it to, to kind of overcome them when it feels like everything's going against you as a team? Yeah, I know we, we lost a few lads early on and obviously that stopped our momentum a bit. But I think when you're coming on, you've just got to get the speed of the game as fast as you can and I thought the lads who came on did that brilliantly and you know we, we kept it and we got the win in the end so brilliant. Yeah do, do you know what Tom I'm pleased for the boys the lads who stepped in and then we had two injuries early on in the game and you're thinking oh, you know Sod's Law, Brownie, uh, Emile's in the hotel sick and, and obviously um, Whitey last week but I said there's a group in there then you know that's the character and the, 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 the togetherness they've got the brilliance and you know that we, we knew it was going to be a fight they, these were going to play for points and trying to win points and but so are we and I just said look we've got to go out there and perform to the levels that we know we can perform with and without the ball and it was a dog performance without the ball and with the ball don't we have some boss passages of play great passes of play that's a scouse way of boss isn't it but in terms of good passes as a play uh, and we probably could have scored a few more goals um, and some of the football was fantastic but no credit where credit you to the boys they were fantastic and uh, well deserved that again coming all the way down to play but we're four so we got here within four to five minutes and flew and they've obviously probably took them six seven hours some have come and at weekends away uh, we're just glad to send them home happy to Tom because that's what it's about uh, I know they're screaming for me for a fist bump but that can wait because we've got to keep them grounded we've got to keep the lads on the same page you keep supporting the boys the way you are it's fantastic long may you continue just keep it up because it's, it's, uh, it's massively important for us